Okay, our next step is to create um, text engraving on this part. So first I will create a text. So I go back to model page. Here I select part folder and press text creation. I will type something, SpiritCam X for example. So I can see the text has already appeared. So what, I, what I'm going to do is to change the position because I want it to be somewhere here, for example. Change the position and the angle, 90 degrees, for example, like this. So in, of course we need to change the size. So I'll go here to font and change size to, let's say, let's say eight. And we need to change the style also and decrease the distance between the letters so let's check will it fit now doesn't look like it will fit okay i will also decrease to seven for example now it's better okay let's adjust the position okay now it looks fine i will just make it like this and maybe I will decrease the step, not to zero, but point zero point five, for example. Yeah, now the text looks good and seems that it fits. I will adjust the position a little bit. Okay, and this way. Okay, looks nice. Next, I go to the machining tab. I can see my text now here, which will be engraved. And I will create new operation to the contouring. Uh, you can use also engraving for text engraving. But now I will use just to the contour, which is like more common. Okay. So in order to engrave this text, I will add this text to the job assignment first. So what can I do is just uh, s uh, choose it like this, select it like this on the screen and press curve or I can press curve and then I will be able to select what I want to uh, when I want to um, to spruce come consider like a job assignment selecting this text from the folder. Okay, like this. Okay, okay, it already looks something that some, looks something similar. But also, I want to select this and set it as a top level. Okay, much better. I will go now and select this also as a bottom level. But we need to move bottom level a little bit down in order to make the engraving, obviously. So I go back to strategy. And here we have top and bottom level and I will make it one millimeter lower. Now it looks fine. Okay, and uh, next we need to, to change the tool. So <clears throat> let's check, do we have engravers here in the tool library? Yes, we have some, some big ones. Okay, let's let's make smaller one. I will use first. I need to select tool for the operation because now it's a tool from tool library. It's in read-only mode. In order to change it, I need to take it to my uh, to my project first. So I will select, click select use tool for the operation. Now when I open it, it's sh it is shown in the project tools, which is. <laughs> something different obviously and I will decrease the diameter to two millimeters and diameter 0 0.1 angle will be 18 degrees that's my engraver and I will also use some uh, holder sorry okay not this one but some let's let's choose something different for example, for example, this one is looks looking fine. Okay. 
Okay, so and I will just press run to see the result. You can see we have links on the surf safe surface, which is way too high for us. So I will go to the uh, link links uh, tab here and let's check where we have yeah safe level. That's it. So I will put it down. Let's even put it this way. I think it looks fine now. Run. Yeah. Okay, maybe one millimeter depth is too much. Let's decrease it. So I go back to the strategy and here with holding shift key and scrolling, I can scroll by 0 0.1 millimeter. So I put six min minus 16.5. Yeah, looks better. Let's go to simulation and check what we have. Reset the workpiece, simulate up to current operation and press run. Okay, looks very nice. Of course, I also have a stress sign here, which is showing me part gauge, obviously, because this text was not uh, on the initial model. So I will stop the simulation and show you something which is very new for the Sprutcam 16. So you can see that simulation quality is not enough for such as small details um, as this engraving. But we have a solution now. So if I press this button here and change from voxel to solid and recalculate uh, the workpiece simulate up to current operation it will take some time I believe let's wait okay and now let's go and check how does it look like okay looks way better Okay, let's, yeah, yeah, that's what we have here now. Okay, very nice. That's it about the text engraving. So use it in your projects and see you in the next video.